Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and we're going to stick with the theme of going through some lean subjects in this video and as you can see slight change of uh, slight change of venue. Um, this is actually my uh, this is actually my spare bedroom because we're here to talk about these fine things. Uh, we're here to talk about pull. Um, we're going to install a pull system uh, and we're going to install a pull system for these things, I teach Six Sigma uh, mostly, and this is my standard, my standard course. It's a nine-day green belt course, and therefore, this is the this is the thing I need to print the most. This is what I need most of. And the other day, what did I do? I ran out of these things. Can you believe this? Um, so I ran out of them. You can see. Look, I've now got a. Um, a bookcase full of them because what did I then do having run out of them I went and ordered loads of them um, and I guess this is what purchasing do all the time in lots of businesses where they run out of something that, that, that is really popular there's no reason to run out of them at all I did I managed to save the day because I gave out some old notes uh, some obsolete notes that they're not that different to these uh, there's, a, there's a different cover colour, so it was very noticeable that I was giving out the wrong sets of notes. But it, it saved the day. But I shouldn't run out of these. I shouldn't run out of these at all. Now, what I've now done is I've created a space for them. So instead of storing them randomly, classic, classic warehouse behaviour to save space, store them randomly. So I used to have them, look, in a cardboard box. Couldn't tell. Couldn't tell what was in the box. Couldn't tell how many was in the box. Sometimes I'd open the box and there'd only be a couple of couple of sets of notes in there. So very poor visual management. So we're going to change this, and I've already I've already made a start. First thing, one place, and one place only, and that's the first thing. But if you get a little bit closer, and I'll show you what else I'm doing with this system. Okay, now one of the first things to say about what's happening here, you can see, look, I've got one bookcase full of green belt notes. Now the first thing to say is, I've ordered too many. This quantity up here, this block, 10 too many. I ordered 60. Now that's four sets of, that's at least four courses maybe five courses, maybe even six courses for me. Months worth of stock, to be honest. And I don't really gain anything from the additional purchase. I don't really gain anything from the additional purchase. So that's the first thing to say. My response to running out is to do what all purchasing managers do. I bought way too many. But now what I'm going to do I'm going to put in a visual system with rules and I'm going to create a pull system and I'm never going to run out of these particular notes again and I'm going to use visual management to make sure I don't do it. So the first thing I've done, look, if I zoom in here, I've created, I've created a maximum. So 50 is the maximum I really want given the consumption rate that I actually use for these sets of notes. So 50 is to the top of the bookcase with all that additional stock missing. Then if we go down the bookcase I'll use all of these notes and then what will I do? I'll hit the minimum. So I'll look at the minimum. The minimum stock level says 18. 18 is that bottom section there. There's 18 in that bottom section. More than enough for my next course. I've got a lead time of about 10 days. So I, I would never use 18 in a 10 day period once I hit that, once I hit that limit. So minimum level 18. And of course, order quantity 32. 
So look at the look at the simple things I've got. I've got a rule for the maximum, a rule for the minimum, a fixed location, and a fixed order quantity. That is the simple way that a pull system works. The system is visual and the signal is at the point of activity and the person who's controlling the stock will place the order for more. This is why visual systems work in your warehouse. So that is a visual system for my green belt notes. I will never overstock or run out of these notes again. Okay, well, that's a pull system. That's how easy they are to design. I'll never run out of these again. Um, it's dead simple to do. It costs nothing. No computer needed, nothing. You just need to know what's the demand. Decide on the minimum, decide on the maximum. And of course, the difference between the minimum and the maximum is the order quantity. You've got fixed everything. Fixed location, fixed maximum, fixed minimum, fixed order quantity. They're the rules for a pull system. No computer needed. No million pound to spend on the computer. No worrying about the accuracy, stock accuracy, negative numbers. All the problems that you get with your SAP systems and your Oracle systems. And when you hit the level, it always works. Because it's visual and it's always a fact. When you hit that level, it's always a fact. In the computer, when the computer says order, it could be wrong because the data's wrong, the static data is wrong, etc. Pull systems never run out of stock again. They always work. Cheap, reliable. They are best practice. World class companies use this. Use pull and make more money.